What's up everyone? On this episode of Eric's Garage, we're gonna get my personal tractors going. One of which is my 1960 International Harvester Cub Low Boy that I used to cut the grass around my property. We're also gonna get my 1955 Farmall 100 going and we may get a third tractor going. So stay tuned, here we go. So I put this tent up not that long ago to store some of my tractors in. Uh, they were in my shop, but they were taking up a lot of space. So I bought this, put up, and stuck everything in here. So that way it's out of the weather, but it's also out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside. All right, I'm going to take y'all guys in here and show y'all what I got stored in here. So this here is my 1960 International Harvester Cub Low Boy. This is the first tractor that I bought. Um, when we bought this property out here, we uh, I needed something to cut the grass with and everybody was telling me I should get a zero turn and this and that and whatnot. But I decided I want something a little different and started looking up tractors. And I remember these old red tractors from Mardi Gras in New Orleans. So this is kind of where I got the idea from and it kind of landed me where I'm at. I use this tractor to cut the grass around my property, mainly in the front portion. It's got the uh, Danco C3 mower deck, which is a 59 inch deck and it cuts the grass pretty well. Um, it's been sitting in here for a while, I need to get it back out so I could get the grass cut this year. The next tractor that I bought is this 1955 Farmall 100. Um, I have a portion of my property that's more wooded and the grass is a little thicker back there. So I needed something I could bush hog with. So I bought this tractor from now a good friend of mine who kind of got me into all this stuff, working on these tractors and um, real grateful for him being basically a mentor to me um but yeah this is a great tractor i do plan on semi restoring this tractor um i got a new nose cone for it that isn't all welded together but yeah i use this tractor to bush hog with do some chores around the yard and whatnot now these two tractors here um this here is a 1977 international harvester cub it's called a long stripe because the hood has this long stripe on it. You'd be able to see it all, but they got this tank mounted here for some reason. But I bought this tractor and that tractor along with a third one, which ended up being for parts only uh, as a package deal. Uh, I do plan on getting this tractor going. This is gonna be the third tractor I'm gonna get going because I do plan on using this as a backup to cut the grass and maybe some other stuff. We do need to put a new seat on it, but all in all, it's in fairly good shape. Let me get over here without killing myself. See that long stripe I was talking about. And then this here is a 1950 Farmall Cub, which um, I'm going to get going. I do plan on doing some gardening this year, and I may set this tractor up to do some of the garden chores along with the 100. So we'll see. Um this tractor isn't in that bad of shape. It's just got this flaky paint. Um, it does have a magneto on it, but we may change that to a distributor if it's not working, but it's a pretty straight looking tractor. It's got a mower deck. We'll probably get rid of that, but yeah. So that is my collection so far. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the battery charger hooked up to the 60 here, get it charged. It still is, this is still a 12, uh, I'm sorry. This is still a six volt tractor, um, but I do plan on converting it to 12 volts. Uh, I'm probably gonna do the 12 volt conversion after I get it running and get my, gra my, get my grass cut in order. And I'll have a few weeks to park this one and take it apart for a little bit so we can put an alternator and different battery in it. And I'll probably make a video about it. All right, so I just have this run-of-the-mill battery charger from Harbor Freight. Um, it does 6 and 12-volt batteries, so I 
that's why I like this one and it'll trickle charge after it charges up so we'll go ahead and get this hooked up and charging and while that's charging I'm going to take care of some chores around the house because we are probably gonna have to just overlook this do a quick once over on this tractor make sure it's good to go and uh, yeah so right now this tractor is set up as a what's called a positive ground so the positive cable is attached to the body of the tractor basically uh, unlike a 12 volt system which would be the other way the the negative side would be ground and the positive side would be hooked up to your battery and stuff like that so yeah so we will get this connected we still charge it the same red to positive black to negative and I'm going to plug it in usually this battery charger picks up what kind of battery it's charging so we'll see if it does it So here we go, it says uh, 12 volt standard right now, so we need to switch to, there we go, six volt standard. So we're gonna let this buddy sit, get nice and charged up, and then we'll come back and see if she'll crank up. So as you can see, my wife loves me and allows me to have all this junk parked right here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rob the starter off the will it run tractor to put back on its rightful owner uh, we had to take the starter off my little boy to put on here because the starter that was on this tractor was messed up so two bolts and this nut will get this guy off and back to where it belongs all right i got my all-in-one wrench here and just break this guy loose I like to put the bolts back in the hole where they go, just in case a dirt dauber or somebody tries to come make a home in there that can't, you know, this, this is open, obviously, but whatever. So I thought that counts, right? All right, it's kind of dark in here. There's no light, but uh, I went ahead and cleaned. Uh, there was some caked up grease and dirt on the back of this. So I just went ahead in the shop and cleaned that off. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this guy back in his hole. cable back up with the power cable there we go I think it might have went this one first then this one there we go okay okay use my universal wrench here 
this up. Put a couple, put some torque on it. Click, click. All right, that's good. Cool. All right, so we'll see if this thing cranks up. I'll let the battery charge up for a while. It's got enough to do what we're gonna do today. Um, go ahead and turn this fuel on. I don't even know that it has fuel in it. We are gonna find out. Gear, battery charger off and reconnect our battery. There we go. Let's see what she does. Give us a choke. around of the cub now that I got it outside and y'all can see it my dog is barking by the way it's actually a pretty clean little tractor not much rust on it at all I bought it basically how you see it and I'm gonna go ahead and grease the spindles on the deck and we're gonna go take this thing for a rip all right, so I went ahead and greased up the spindles and hit all the Zerk fittings on the steering and everywhere else on the tractor, which isn't much, but we're gonna hop on this thing and take it for a little rip around the yard. All right, so here we go. We're gonna crank this thing up. Take this around the yard, let that carburetor kind of clean up, and then we'll turn the mower on and we'll cut some grass. All right, I had to go put my dog inside. He was going berserko. But this is a good little running tractor. Cuts my grass pretty well. I'll show y'all here in a minute after I let it kind of run for a bit and warm up.
we could go in the high gear here. the needle. All right, we're going to check the oil right quick before we put a load on this thing. All right, I got the oil level checked. We're going to go in and engage the PTO. Locked in. We're cutting first gear. We'll lower the deck down. I like to lower it just where there's a little tension on the chain. And we'll, away we go.
So as y'all can see, it cuts the grass pretty well. My yard's wet. It's been raining here, and I needed I needed to get the grass cut, or some of it cut at least, and it kind of rutted up a little bit, but that's all right. But this thing cuts the grass pretty well. I was ecstatic when I bought it. I'm still glad I'm able to use it to cut the grass. I don't know if y'all can see, but it does have a little blow by. But it still runs great. I'm gonna keep using it till it won't run no more, and then I'll just rebuild the engine for it and keep it going. So while we have the tractor out and playing with it, I'm gonna try out my lawn sweep. Uh, a friend of mine gave that to me. Uh, it was in the trash. It's a little beat up looking, but. We're going to see if it'll pick up these grass clippings and see how it works. I've never used one before, so we're going to see. I went through and kind of lubricated the bearings a little bit with some Teflon lubricant, and we're going to see what it does. ahead and adjusted the head down a little bit more or it's digging into the ground uh, the grass just a little bit and let's see how that does I think it's safe to say the trash pile lawn sweep works pretty good. I need to fix this bag on this side or see if I can order a new one. But hell, it worked. It was free. Can't beat that. So there we go, that was the first cut of the year with the 1960 low boy. Next, we're gonna get the 100 going because I need to use it to rake the yard. My neighbor has a lawn rake he's gonna let me use, so I'm gonna need to get this going later on this week. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time.